Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Today I am bringing to you another trash to treasure or thrift to treasure video. I just recently went and picked up quite a few things, but we're going to put our own little spin on a few of them. I also got a piece of furniture from my mom that she was just going to throw out and I'm going to revamp it because it is an older piece and turn it into that farmhouse style that I go throughout my home. And yeah, so we got a couple projects for you and I hope you enjoy. If you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for many more of these videos to come and also some fall videos that are coming up as well. So we got lots going on here. So I hope you enjoy this and let's get started. So the first thing that I am tackling is this stand that came from my mom's house. Um, and she was just going to throw it away so of course I wanted to put my own little spin on it. She has been around since I was a child. Um, we used to have our landline sitting up there. It was kind of like our telephone stand. Um, we used to have phone books and address books sitting on the shelves and that's what I remember it as being but I decided I wanted to put my own little twist on it, make it more farmhouse um, instead of kind of in the 90s I guess setting because it had that heart thing um, on there so I decided to remove that sand it down a bit and now I'm just painting the shelves in the rust-oleum uh, I think it's the flat gray so I'm making this a white and gray stand and just to make things easier I took it outside and I'm spray painting because that's just the easiest way to paint for me <laughs> Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is paint my legs white. So I taped off all my shelves that I just did and um, so they wouldn't get the white on the gray and I'm just painting it. So big mistake on my part, I decided to use primer, the Kills Primer uh, spray paint. Huge mistake. I hate that stuff and I will never purchase it or use it ever again. Um, it just ran like crazy. Um, the Rust-Oleum brand is so much better uh, spray painting wise. It just a nice even coat and I just like using it much better. Anyways, um, so I went over the Kills primer with um, the white in Kills chalk paint. Um, and then that just gave me a nice base coat and then I'm using Neverly chalk paint to go over and kind of distress it a little bit. This won't be getting weathered or anything like that, so um, I thought it was good to go to use the Waverly paint on this project. And I just got that slight distress look and it also covered up any of the flaws that I gave it using that Kills Primer. I mean, that stuff was awful. So I'm just going over mostly on the edges and kind of just distressing it and dry brushing it. That's kind of like my favorite technique in dry brushing um, to do rustic kind of pieces and to make things look older. Um, I just love it. So I'm just going to remove the towels that I had on there to protect my gray paint that I had up there on all the shelves. And it did bleed a little bit, the white paint, um, the kills did because it ran so bad um, on the, the gray. So I just kind of went over um, a little bit with um, the gray paint and kind of touched it up. So I added the um, drawer back in and this is a different color gray. I love the two-tone. It kind of just gave it a nice different contrast. So that is in the winter gray. And this is how my shelf turned out. So it went from that old hunter green shelving to um, pine um, legs and it turned into this and I love it. So the next project that I am doing is I picked up this wheelbarrow um, from the Goodwill and it was, I think whoever had it before used it as an outside piece. It was nasty, dirty, dingy, and a yellowish 
tent, it just looked gross, but I had a vision for it to use it in my fall decor. So I'm using the blue paint and my Arteza paints that I have, and I'm using the Waverly chalk paint. Um, I believe that one is mineral to use on the legs, and then I use the Waverly chalk paint and the elephant to paint my wheel. So I had three different colors going on, and I again, the dry brushing, I love doing that technique, and I just go over that um, just to kind of distress it and rough it up a bit. So I'm using the ivory and the chalk paint and also the mineral just to give it kind of a two-tone kind of look. Um, and I actually believe I used a brown from the, I forget what it's called, Apple Crafts or something, um, paint and it's a dark brown and I went over that just slightly with it. So um, I did end up using three different paint colors to kind of give it that more distressed rustic look. I'm sorry, I stand corrected. <laughs> I use the Waverly chalk paint and the elephant for the darker shade. Sorry. I thought I must have used that on, my, on another project. Okay, so I am going to be using this for my fall decor and I just kind of filled the back with some Dollar Tree pumpkins and this Dollar Tree scarecrow and I love it. So the next project that I'm working on is this wooden box. It was really old um, to kind of make over. So I am again using this for more fall decor and something that I can get all year round use out of. So I am using the flat gray on this. Um, my husband actually cut off the hearts. I don't know what it was about the 80s or the 90s, I'm sorry, about hearts on everything, but I had to take them off of that stand that I made and also this. So I just wanted a nice, sturdy, heavy duty box and I got what I needed out of this. So just giving it a nice single coat because this spray paint is amazing and you don't really need much. It's primer and paint in one, um, and I'm a big fan of Rust-Oleum. So once my paint was dry, and um, I am going over it with the ivory and the chalk paint, the Waverly chalk paint, and again, just the same technique, dry brushing um, a few different colors on there. I used the chalk paint and the ivory and also the Waverly chalk paint and mineral. So once I would get a few streaks on there, I'd go over it with a paper towel and just really blend it in um, so you didn't have those streaky looks, um, paint stripes on there from the paintbrush. Okay, so I got a lot of questions about these letters. Um, so I mentioned before in the last video when I used these that my brother-in-law gave me um, this set of letters from um, a project that he did for my sister-in-law. So he gave me those to craft with and I'm forever grateful. So these letters came from Joanne Fabrics if anybody is interested in them. So go out there and get those. But this is how the box turned out when I glued 
all the letters on there and I just wanted it to say simple, blessed um, for the upcoming season. So this is kind of a fall um, decor to make it look more fall, I guess. So I liked how that turned out so much. So the next project that I'm working on is this basket that I got and I am using again that kills primer it did work a little bit better on this basket um, and made it not so runny I guess so um, I guess it, there was an upside to it but I will never purchase it again um, but here I'm going to kind of do an ombre um, two-tone basket to hold pillows and blankets just to have an extra decor piece so I am going over it with this kills primer and then I will go tape it off and use a different color on the bottoms which you will see here in a second but I just wanted to give a nice coat of the white and I flipped it and tried to get in every crack and crevice that I possibly could um, and it did a fairly good job so I taped the top part off so I wouldn't get any spray down there and then I'm using the Rust-Oleum in Ocean Mist and this is my favorite color in the Rust-Oleum blend um, or Rust-Oleum um, paint products so I love it this color is through my entire house and so I just had that two-tone basket and I added a little burlap ribbon and you can add this bow or do whatever you want and that is how the basket turned out so I hope you enjoyed everything that I brought to you today if you did please make sure you comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one